Hello everybody, welcome to our tutorial. Today I will tell you everything about getting planing and the use of the foot straps. Um, I will not only show you how to tune up your equipment in the right way, but also the technique on the water and certainly the most frequent errors. And as always, if there is a, a question, um, a comment, leave it below this video. We will answer you as soon as possible. Yeah, let's start with the board first. I would always recommend to use a free ride board. Um, it doesn't matter which brand it is, um, but a free ride board always has the option to put the foot straps to an inner position. And this is exactly what you need when you're learning to use the foot straps. Um, so the further forward and inside the straps are, the easier it is. Um, whereas, for example, free race or slalom boards, they only have options or plugs here at the rail. And this makes it very hard to, to get with a foot to the foot strap. Always um, take a foot strap or make, um, adjust the size that allows the foot to slide in pretty easy, not too tight. And concerning the size, I would always recommend to use a board which has about 40 to 50 liters more than your own body weight because this helps um, yeah, to get planing as quick as possible. Yeah, for the sails, I would say that free ride sails or free move sails are best um, and suit your free ride board in the best possible way. Um, free ride sails fill in pretty nicely and uh, generate a lot of power. And I always um, recommend not to, to put too much um, outhole tension because when you put too much tension here on the outhole, um, the sail becomes too flat and then certainly the profile is not working in the perfect way and you will not get um, planning as quickly as, as possible. So make sure to only put moderate outhole tension, allow the sail to generate a profile, to generate drag, and it's, it's no problem if the sail almost touches the boom on the, on the leeward side. Um, so make sure to, to take care about that. I will have a few words about the correct setup for the harness, because the correct setup for the harness and getting planning as early as possible are two closely related things. Um, there is another tutorial about setup, length of the harness lines and so on on our YouTube channel. We will link this in this video. Um, so if you have uh, basic questions, make sure to um, take a look at this video as well. Um, but in general, I very, uh, I very often see people um, riding the boom too low and the harness lines too short. Um, I would always recommend to take a, a boom height which is about shoulder size. So make sure not to, to bring it further down. And to, to make it easy to, to hook in and hook out, lengthen your harness lines. Adjustable harness lines are perfect. I would recommend 24 to 30 inch. Uh, and this guarantees that you can hook in and hook out easily. Okay, how to get planing. Um, when you're on the water, always choose a course a slight course reach. This, this is the fastest course in windsurfing. And um, when you're on the board, your front foot is oriented with the toes towards the nose. Um, don't place your feet like this because you will push away the tail to the side and your board will turn up, turn upwind. So keep the body turned forward. The feet, the, uh, the foot is turned forward. The upper body is turned forward. Accelerate. Stretch the front leg and lean into the harness. And then we come to this point when we want to bring the front foot to the front foot strap first. Um, I would always recommend to, to get in touch with a strap first. You know where it is. You don't have to look all the time down. And um, the crucial point is when you're lifting the front foot and place it to the strap. Because this is the point or the moment when Usually, when you lift up the front foot, it means the whole body weight is on the back foot in this moment. And this pushes down the tail and lets let the, uh, the board turn into the wind. Uh, so how can we omit that? Um, the key is to bring pressure on the mast foot via the harness lines and the boom. So before you lift up your front foot, make sure to orient your upper body a bit forward as if you want to look beside the mast to the leeward side. So the upper body is leaned forward. The weight is in the harness lines. The pressure is on the mast foot. And then you have 
the chance to lift up your front foot and, to, and keep the board low on the water, keep the board flat anyway. After you brought in the first foot, stabilize on your course and when you have the feeling that, you, that the, the board keeps on accelerating, then you can bring the back foot into the foot strap. Yeah, that's it from my side. I hope there were some interesting aspects in it. Uh, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so. And um, thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.